Ever since I was a young child in the heart of Somerset, I adored the fiery, delicious taste of the buffalo wing. Since laying my lips on these foodstuffs at the age of 11, I have committed myself to finding the best wings on planet Earth. And that's why I've come here, to the heart of New York State. It's not quite Buffalo City, but if you want good wings, there's no better place to come. I'm Cameron Rogers, and join me on the journey for the best buffalo wings in New York City. So hello, now we're on Fifth Avenue in Brooklyn uh, and we have Bonnie's Grill here, which is a local horn that was tipped to me by one of my mates. Uh, apparently the buffalo wings are out of this world, but let's see how out of this world they are. Let's go. So here we are in Bonnie's, uh, a hot burger joint in Brooklyn. Our wings are cooking up there, as you can see. We're gonna go for the 10 and basically what we've done is we've got medium flavor because you don't want to jump straight in the deep end of the pool you want to go in slowly and then on the side we've got hot thank you very much and then hotter the hottest possible fucking flavor possible and it's going to be mad hot and we're going to see how how our, we deal with it how our faces how our fucking feelings deal with it everything let's check it out Kurt, what, could you give us a brief history of Bonnie's Grill as an establishment? Uh, sure, uh, we've been open for 17 and a half years now. Nice. Um, it's originally opened by two guys named Mike and Anthony from a big, uh, from Buffalo, New York. Yeah. So that's why we have the authentic, you know, buffalo wings Ooh. and other uh, buffalo kind of things on our menu, like the yeah. beef on wax sandwich. Um, uh, that's they, a common one. They both uh, have since moved back to Buffalo and uh, have sold the place, but still, yeah. you know, same menu. Perfect. How long have you been here at Cooking been Away? Here a little over 10 years. Nice, okay. Perfect, perfect. So you really are well well versed in the art of the, the buffalo wing. Yeah. And, and all practice. other stuff in buffalo, apparently, as it turns out. Yeah, man. Yeah. Have it. Is there any secret ingredient in the sauce? Um, it's pretty much just a straightforward uh, wing sauce. We have our own spin on it. You know, I can't divulge every little yeah. you know, thing, but. Uh, um, it's a straightforward, you know, authentic uh, buffalo wing sauce. Nice. Um, in the wings, we just deep fry them until they're crispy and then toss them in the sauce. We don't bread our wings or anything like that. It's just straightforward buffalo, you know, style buffalo wings. That's, that's exactly what we're looking for, really. And there is a lot of, uh, I was about to say something profound. There's a lot of, of content and simplicity. That's what I was going to say. Wow. There's a lot of content and simplicity. So you want to go for the original style. And that's how you want to do it, man. That's what you want to do it. You know, it's a, it's a major, and that, ooh. There we go. So that's the process. <laughs> Just in case you needed uh, reminding. Do you serve it up with a nice blue cheese sauce? There it is, ooh. Christ. That's gonna taste awfully good. We are, man, thank you, Kurt. That looks, okay, so here we are. Here's the wing, as we can see. These are mild flavor, and uh, let's dig in. Let's see how it's, um... okay. So first off, the sauce. It's, um... oh wow. A lot less intense, but more, but, but, but tastier than the yeah, ones you get in London. Hotter. So that's the hot and the hotter. Okay, so what we have here is the mild. Not medium. Medi medium. Medium, sorry, medium. No, it's, okay. no, it's not mild, it's not. <laughs> then a hot wing and a super hot one. This is a super hot one, right? Oh, they're both super hot. They're both super hot. Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to try some of these bad boys. Let's have some of that. Mm -mm. Okay. Um, I mean, it's excellent. It's succulent, it's crispy. It's for everything you want, really. The sauces, um, very delicately done in London, which is the, the the one the place that we usually go for a comparison. So the flavour is a lot more, it's a lot more in your face. But by 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 reducing that, they've really sort of brought out the fucking amazing chicken and just the sauce is just glorious. So hang on, just, yeah, hang on. So I'm just gonna put, have it some some blue cheese.
man. Stunning. Um, so now for the true, the true heroes of this of this earth, you have the super hot wings. As you can see on this plate, there's no noticeable difference between the, the medium and the, and the super hot, but uh, uh, a, a, a tinge on the tongue that will that will oh, have it, have it, have it, yeah. Noticeable difference the spice is quite strong, <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Wow, dude. It's good. A bit too spicy that you sort of forget what you're eating, you know, you don't, the taste isn't appreciated as much. You're so red, if, you, whew, if, if you're coming to Bonnie's Grill, go for a bit of a mild, uh, um, sorry, medium one, because this is a bit too hot, really. You wow, have shit. A, uh, I have, yeah. So I think the blue cheese is needed in this situation. Mm -hmm. it is. It's good though, it's excellent. <laughs> Beautiful. I'd recommend that going for these. You want to try some, Dean? Yeah. <laughs> oh wow, there's I'm a lot of sweat. Being a pussy here, but. So, uh, let's turn this on, yeah. Just be two minutes on since we had the, the super hot wig. I can tell you what, the taste isn't going away. It's just getting more and more strong. That's the beauty of the buffalo wing, you know, like it, it grows on you much like a, uh, a, a, a progressive rock album. You know, one listen isn't Speaking enough. Of. Speaking of, yeah, thank you. BT Bam, you can thank me. Um, it's just, it's, it's, it's hot, man. Like, it's really intense. Like, I have a lot, of, I eat a lot of curry in the UK, but it, it, with that, you get used to it progressively. With this, it just grows in intensity, and it's just fucking, it's hard to deal with, man. I'm actually crying. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Oh, God. Anyway, what we've got, though, is we have, uh, recommended to us by Kurt, is the fries of the Bonnie's Grill with their chipotle mayo. So let's try that. Maybe that should cool things down for us. So... There we go, lay it on. And have some of it. Mm. Oh man, the mayo's good. The fries are really excellent, man. They're just, they're like, they're more towards the soft than crispy, but there's still the right amount of crisp there. Mayo's excellent, man. Huh? I don't know, maybe the hotness is killing the taste a bit, but you yeah. know, it doesn't matter. We'll on the hot wings after. Yeah. Okay. So we're back on Fifth Avenue outside Bonnie's. Or just the review of the wings. Grill, uh, very good wings. They packed a hell of a punch. They toned down the sauce and the intense, uh, and the intensity of the sauce, uh, and that ended up in a much better wing. Uh, on the scale of of of, of wingness, uh, we've got an 8.5 out of 10. Uh, not entirely sure what the scale is yet, so that may alter. Uh, but so far, we're off to an excellent start. Cheers. After Bonnie's tremendous wings, we popped over to Manhattan Island to try out the next contender. We're outside Dan and John's wings on First Avenue uh, in East Village, a place where we've spent many of our uh, hours in New York. This is a place specific for wings, so we're expecting them to be piff. Uh, and we need to eat them. Let's do it. So, Brian, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, okay, so we're in Dan and John's wings with a guy called Brian. It's not Dan or John. Oh. He's brought it up. He's That's a buffalo nice. guy. Buffalo. Welcome to, this is Little Buffalo, as we call it. Yeah, it so. is indeed. Uh, is there a, are you allowed to disclose the secret technique that makes your wings so... It's uh, it's a lot of love put into it, okay. you know, a little, a little buffalo. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, the right hot sauce, cook it to the right temperature, at yeah. the right temperature, um, to the right time. Oof. That's about it. It's pretty simple. It's not brain surgery, but... Uh, yeah. But it's it's close, Yeah, you know, yeah. in its awesomeness. That's right. Well, let's get some of these wings and try out and let's see whether they're see, up to yeah, the... these words. Well, yeah, yeah, mate. Let's do it. Cheers. 
So here we are with Dan and John's famous wings. I'm pretty fucked up, man, I'm not gonna lie. Um, from the initial looking, uh, they look a lot crispier, a lot more blazed than the Bonnie's wings, which is the only comparison we have so far. So let's give it a go. Okay. This sauce is interesting. Wow. The crisp on that is just perfect. Yeah. It's perfect. Yeah, I think these are a bit more cooked, I guess. That's just something else. <laughs> All right. Look. That's a fucking excellent wing. Uh, the crisp on it is just this perfection. The sauce. So the bonnie sauce was better, but the crisp has really just made this glorious. The cream that my mouth was nice. So I think overall it's a better wing. It's really quite something. Um, so, we've eaten the wings, as you can see. I'm going to give them a nine, I reckon. I think that's pretty, that's me being, that's me being harsh as well, like these were really, really nice. How are you feeling? Am I feeling pretty fucking ill, but that's because we got, you know, really fucked up and I had that spicy hot wing thing, this isn't going to help. Yesterday at Bonnie's, notice there's no super hot wing. Because, um, you know, we, uh, I just don't. Um, it's just the crisp on this is so magical, you know, you have it in. You so you recommend this for people? Darren John's Wings is a, it's a good place. The crisp on the wing is excellent. The, the lads here are all buffalo lads. You know, it's a place which puts a little love and care into its wings. And I wish I was, I was, I was compass mentis enough to appreciate it more but the fact that I'm my, my, my body is in this much of a state and it's still enjoyable is a testament to how good they are so, that's it <laughs> all right so welcome back um, welcome back so <laughs> Hello again, we're on 38th and 2nd Avenue in Manhattan, outside Best Wingers, which is a contender according to TripAdvisor and various other websites for Best Buffalo Wings in New York. It's the first place with the word best or, or greatest in it, so if they're putting themselves forward as the best, then you, you know they really have to deliver. So we'll go in, we'll check out the wings and see whether they match up to Dan and John's and Bonnie's. Let's go. Mm, yeah, buffalo, mm, cayenne pepper, blue cheese, motherfucker. Oh. Sauce is that? Mmm, it's like garlicky. Mmm, in fact, that blue cheese is in here. <laughs> So the wing is um, it's very similar to the one we get in London, which is at a place called Meat Market in Covent Garden. And I, I was doing it, Dean, I was looking at the camera. Um, so, yeah, very nice. The sauce is really intense and vinegary. So, uh, like what's happened before in other places we've been to, is the sauce has been less strong. And that's, that's been in the wing's favour. But here the sauce is strong, which if you like the sauce, this is the best bit. That's probably, that could be a good thing. Um, the wing itself is, yeah, it's good chicken, um, works well. The blue cheese sauce uh, is not, not very good. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm very satisfied. I think this is the cheapest wing to, to 
to price to dollar ratio. So uh, you know, I think we've, we've done fairly well. Yeah. So here we have Clint Patel, who's the owner of uh, Best Wingers. Um, just uh, what do you think separates Best Wingers as Buffalo Wings from the standard wing in New York? Well, it's pretty simple. We're fresh, you know. Everything is fresh here. All natural, hormone-free chicken. Been here for over 20 years. Um, you be the judge. Yeah. Try us out, and you let us know. Just taste the stuff as well, and the sides are excellent as well. They're good. They're good. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, well, I hope you enjoy it, and come out to Best Wingers. We'll take care of you. Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we just had our buffalo wings uh, at Best Wingers. Um, the sauce was very strong, very vinegary, very intense, uh, and the, chick the chicken was good. So if you like the sauce, this place might be for you. The blue cheese was not very good and it really let down the overall wing experience. Um, and just but keep in mind, they're good wings, but uh, on our scale of what we had so far, it stands at about 6.7. However, I will stress that we had the fried chicken in there and it is the best fried chicken that we've ever had. And uh, Dean, the cameraman, considers himself an expert in fried chicken and he says it is, it, it is good. But, Buffalo wings definitely it's worth it's it's worth it like it, you get a lot of bang for your buck but if you want just pure quality I think Dan and John's is still on top yeah. We struggled to find our final destination Atomic Wings instead coming across a French chicken restaurant named Poulette However it turned out it was right in front of us so if you're coming to this sports bar, which has multiple outlets on Manhattan Island, keep your eyes peeled for the sign. The particular Atomic Wings joint we were in was on 2nd Avenue and East 49th Street in Manhattan. So we are ready. Right, so the wings have been presented to us. Uh, we have medium flavour here and two super spicy ones here. So I'm going to reveal the Luchi sauce. Uh, one of our wings again. One of these bad boys without sauce. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Very, good. Mm. Very similar to Bonnie's, so reduce sort of the intensity of the sauce, um, which brings out the flavour of the wing. Not as crispy as Dan and John's, though, must be said. Let's try, try it with some blue cheese sauce, see how that goes down. Ooh, ooh. Blue cheese sauce is good as well, actually. Mm. It's actually quite good, I'm fairly surprised if I'm honest. Yeah. Some of the carrot. Mm. Good stuff. Yeah, it's um, standard buffer wing, very good. Um, better than uh, the one the place we were at before, which whose name I can't remember. Um, yeah, no, very satisfying wind, and that, that's, I think, $10, so it's a pretty good deal. So, yeah. Mm. Okay, so we've just finished up in Atomic Wings. i got to say, uh, hygiene-wise, this place isn't exactly great. Uh, the wings, though, which is the reason why we're here. I mean, I, I, I enjoyed them. They're good. Uh, the the blue cheese sauce, though. This is first class reporting. You know, you don't stop someone on the front line. Um, blue cheese sauce, though, is a bit runny and just not very good. Um, but I think the wing overall, I, I, I did, I did, I did like. Like, it's very similar to. The Bonnie wing, sort of reduce, 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 or reduce sauce intensity uh, to bring out more flavour of the wing. But I don't know, Bonnie's was just better overall. I think I'll give this one a 7.5 for the quality of the wing. So it's a solid third in our best wings scale.
which I think is fair, to be honest. I mean, if we're counting into what, if, oh, if, no, if no. we're counting, if we're taking into account hygiene as well, then this place might have a few points knocked off. But you know, the people inside are really friendly, and it's a good place to come. So if you want to drink a few beers and have a few wings, Atomic Wings is probably the best place to go. And here we are atop the Rockefeller Center, the view of downtown New York, Brooklyn, over there. Um, we feel like kings on top of here, but we know who the real kings of New York are, which are Dan and John's wings, who have taken the cake. They get the title of best buffalo wings in New York. Although it has to be said, if you want to have a good eating experience, Bonnie's is perhaps the best place for you to go. So well done Dan and John's, well done Bonnie's, kudos to the other two, all good wings and we'll be making the trip back at some point to get more of those tasty wings. So long New York. Wings is my religion, mate. Yeah. A mecca, a pilgrimage to, to the best wing spots. Not the wing spot, luckily, but maybe one day. <laughs>